guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to my Motorsport Manager uh, High Tech Racing Part 2 in Munich and as you can see guys we've already arrived at Munich and we've had a few little changes uh, let's click on this drivers so at the minute the drivers are still the same we've got Callum Olliott, Jake Hughes and Ralph Aaron and then obviously as you can see the wrist mechanics we have now got Becky Kitagawa the Canadian has now joined us along with Kevin Stoll and Lalik Bignos so we're going okay we have been looking at our car recently and we have obviously we're designing a second new engine so we're gonna have two new engines we're improving the performance of one of the new engines as it is and one of the current engines so that's not being fitted in one's car um, at the minute we're stuck with the original stuff that we're still trying to work on but as you can see nothing's going to be finished till way after the after this race so we've moved on to munich and we're going to go in for our second race of the year so we've got to select sponsor so we're going to select 16 for the above because i can't see it's getting any higher Personally, I would like to get fifth or above. Actually, do you want to know let's just risk it. Let's go for fifth and above and get a good old 800,000 in the old capital. We have 8 million left because we've built a new engine and we've offered a contract to a 17 year old uh, Brazilian driver, Enzo Flipitadi. Yeah, Fittipaldi, sorry. As you can see, he's rock solid, racer, wonder killed, famous fella. He's two and a bit stars, going on to four full stars. If we get him in, he's going. He didn't didn't mind what he was going to be. So, if we can get him in, he'll replace a reserve driver, and then next year I think we'll start with him as one of our current drivers. So nothing's changing. Let's get straight into this and see if we can actually win a race or get up here. But as you can see, we still got the twenty seventeen. Formula One mod at it. So I'll see you back as soon as this loads, guys. So, guys, welcome back. As always, we'll just select our two drivers. There we go. And we will just simulate the um, practice. I'm not going to change anything again for the setup. I'm just going to leave it how it is and let the guys then come back and tell me how bad it is. Just simulate this the session see where we finish up where did we finish probably last two again is it yeah we finished 19th and 20th in the grid not a good session at all absolutely chucking it down here so we got race trim only And that's all looks like we're gonna have is race trims so water on the track is not looking great let's check out the car setups so let's change his and let's so guys I've changed their uh, car setups just slightly um, obviously he wanted he said this handling was spot on but if I changed anything else it just played around with everything else so it wasn't just no good at all so I couldn't make anything else better for him. So we have basically stuck with this. Seven laps. We've got 17 lap race. On intermediates. We need to finish fifth or above from the back of the grid. I reckon we are, I think. Grid position fifth and fourth. Okay, so we are okay up there. So let's get this race started. Oh, I forgot to change the driver styles. Oh, ah, la, 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 la. You can tell I haven't done much with Motorsport Manager, guys. Only the second episode in, and already I forgot stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long season. But hey, that's what you guys came here for. Let's quickly change it. And the lights are out. We've managed to change it for one, not for the other. Let's quickly change it, and then let's quicken this race up for you guys. Hold, L. Oh, he's dropped down to six. Fuses is still in fourth. And the water in the track is getting a hell of a lot wetter. This could be the wettest race I've seen. I could just about make out the cars. Like, Elliot has dropped all the way down to ninth. Hughes is up to third. Go on, Hughes, son. Let's move on board with Hughes. 
And he's up the second. Hughes is on a flyer. He is up the second in the in this race. As Elliot's now coming back as well. Callum Elliot is now coming into this race. Hughes loves the wet, but it looks of it. Absolutely flying on second. Third's very, very close. And Norris has taken him and he's dropped back to third now. But he's fighting back again. And Hughes is retaking second down the straight. Can he keep it in the corner? As Norris goes round the outside. And Hughes has held him off nicely. Fantastic Ross. And obviously Alacy's away. Alacy has just went. Thanks very much. You guys fed it out behind. I am gone, gone, gone. I'll leave it on full over attack. As I will now drop Elliot all the way back to conserve. See if Hughes can leave Hughes out a little bit longer here on the pushing. This put a gap between himself and Norris. And there's a nice gap opening up now. But Alacy's gone. He's three seconds ahead of Hughes already. And Alacy is gone, gone. Oh, and Elliot is just dropping, dropping, dropping. He's having an awful, awful race. And the water in the track is absolutely horrendous now. We nearly got a full soaked track. It should be probably wet out there by now. As Elliot now drops down to 13th. Now we're just going to ease off Hughes. Let him just ease into this race a little. And I'm going to push him a little on his uh, tyre wear. Just to heat them up a little. Because his tyres are dropping really bad. He's down to 17th now Callum Elliot. He's having an absolute shocking race as Hughes is holding on nicely to second place. And it looks like Hughes is going to do one less lap to, to uh, Elliot. But that's because I made him push for the extra lap to try and pull away. But now Lacey's now six seconds ahead. Six full seconds ahead. The water in the track starting to ease off a little, which is good. And Julio Baptista now, or sorry, Bruno Baptista is all, it's trying to catch Hughes. As Hughes is now trying to put that gap back out. Faster first sector by Hughes. Up one second on the leader of Lacey, so that's good. As everyone behind him is battling away for positions. He's got just under three laps. I'm going to ask him to conserve his fuel. Elliot conserving his fuel. He's last now in the race. He's 15 seconds off the pace. He's absolutely having a terrible race. And now Hughes is under all sorts of pressure. But that's alright because he's got two laps left in the tank. It's Baptista's taking him. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring him in after the next lap. So let's push him all out at it. Let's make him go because he's now dropping down big, big time here. As the tracks now start to dry out. And his tyres are starting to cool down. He's all the way down to fourth. He's lost position to Nui and Baptista. And Noria, Norris and Hubert are all over his back end. So at the end of this lap. He's going to pit at the end of this lap. We'll put him back on another set of enters. Yeah we'll put him on another set of enters. We'll fill him up. And then after that he can go on softs. His parts are looking good. His engine is not looking great to be fair. Newler's his gear but a brake system. But we are trying to improve those. We're going to go for a good old fast. We've got a better pit crew now. So I'm hoping Husey will do it now. So he's got under two, just over two laps left. He's coming at the end of this lap. He's going to pit early. I'm just hoping Intermediates was the right choice. But we'll see. We'll see. He's got the damp on the track. is starting to dry out really quickly. I think it enters might have been a bad idea. Might have been a bad idea. I should have waited to see what everyone else was going to go on. But he's just holding his own in fourth. We're in the objective. But he's obviously going to pit. And then he'll be pitting again anyway. So if the track becomes totally dry, well, that is fine. But he's 7.9 written. That's pretty good for the youngster. 
as Hughes is now going to come into the pits along with third place Nui. I'm just hoping that we've not made a mistake by going back on enters. I'm looking to see what Nui does. Everyone else is in the pits. I'm looking to see what they do tire wise. And they've gone on softs. Because the track and mediums are not going back on enters. Might have been a big, big, big mistake. Oh, ignore you. You're coming in at the end of this lap. And we're going to put you on medium tires. As you were doing anyway. Yeah, your parts are okay. Fast pit stop. Pit at the end of this lap. Oh no, we shouldn't be. In it. Let's put you down to that and that. How is your engine looking? Engine's down to forty percent. Hughes' race could be over already. Uh good God, good God. Do I fix his engine? Okay, we'll fix your engine. We'll bring you in, put you on super softs. And we'll fix that engine. Oh, this could be a this turned into be a disaster. I'm not going to give him any fuel. I literally just want him in just to do the engine fix. It's going to destroy his race. But hopefully we'll have Callum out before he gets in, so we're not queuing him up. Come on, Callum, get out, get out, get out. I don't want to pull it, hold him up too long. Callum, I believe, should have just left. Callum is gone, Callum is gone. We've replaced the tires, we're fixing the engine. It's destroyed Hughes' race, who was on target. On target for... The good old... Was way on target. So I'll let him continue pushing, keep his engine on low fuel. Let's bring your in, let's get you engine. No, we'll leave you on medium, we'll let you push the tires. As Nui fits out the fastest lap. And let's see what Elliot. What Callum and Mr. Hughes can do. He's having a far better race on the medium tyres. He should go longer than what Hughes is going to go. I think I'll give Hughes the better engine whenever the new engines are finished. As I say, this season I am aiming for finishing by mid-table. Next season is the season we go and win this championship. If we're not sacked before then, of course. And remember, guys, later on, today, as you're watching this, tonight, we will have our create our own team, which we created Big Al Sports World Racing. That video will be up later on. So do not miss that one if, you want, if you're enjoying Motorsport Manager. Obviously, we're learning as we go along. We're not having a great first season, but we're going to get there. As you can see, Hughes has already put it twice. I think Hughes is just going to have to go and try to make some time back. Is he catching anyone? Where is he? Oh my word, he's going to have to come in for new gears soon as well. This race is falling apart. Our our car just is not good enough. Let's put you on neutral. Whenever you come in for a tire stop, Callum, we'll change your gearbox. And he's going to be coming in for a third pit stop. Now, this is just not good at all. 
We got seven laps left. Oh my word. Okay, let's cancel this pit lap till after this lap. He's got two and a half laps left. At the end of this lap, we'll pit him. Which will be his third and final lap. I'm thinking we'll put him on medium tires till the end of the race. Or super soft till the end of the race. As everyone else is entering the pits. That's good. Right, okay, we'll go pitch you now. I will put you on super softs. We'll fill you up mm, just enough to finish the race and we'll fix your gearbox. Pit. We're going to tell you to conserve, go low and conserve your tires. Because you're also going to pit. And you're going to go back on super softs. Fill you up to the end of the race. <sighs> His brakes are about to go. So is the suspension, man. Jesus. I got no choice but to fix this. I'm not to fix the suspension. I can't afford him not to. Well, guys, we're going to finish last in this race. There's no ch no two ways about it. No, we're even near the objective at all. The car in front of him, Ericsson has issues. And he's in the pits. He's in the pits. Now, will he get out before... Before Hughes comes in, they're repairing the gearbox, and Hughes is entering the pits. We're gonna stack them. No, yes, he's out just as he arrived in the pit stop. Wow, that was close. That was close. So he's got excess fuel. So for the last two, good, good, good. For the last two laps, we are going to go full at it. So they're both on. Neutral on the tires for now. Both on low on the engines. So in lap 15, we are going to go for it. The last two laps, we are going to. Absolutely all out. I don't care what happens to the dealer car, if they run out of fuel or whatever. But the last two laps, they're going to absolutely hammer it. So they are. So what lap is this? This is lap... Is it 13? We're still only in lap 13. Okay. Well, we're still in lap 13. We're not having the best race. Oh, drive through penalty. What? Oh. Drive through penalty. Well, that's his race over. Oh, my word. Callum's kid. Callum, Callum, Callum. You've literally just shafted us even more than what we already were. Any comes for his drive through pal, and they... No, he didn't come in. He didn't come in. He's set personal best lap as well. Okay, okay. I don't know why he didn't come in. I thought he would have come in for his drive through pal, and there. But he's up to 16th. I ain't going to complain, but... We need to be better than that. And the lacy just goes and puts another fastest lap in. My word, that boy's on a flying race today. Can't believe Dennis has only done one lap. As he comes round, 
I don't think he's going to get past any of the guys in the pits. Is that rain? Is that... We got rain on the track again. Ah, stuff it. Let's just go for it now. Last two laps. Just go for it. I don't care if your brakes feel spongy. You crash, you crash. We're already last as it is, so it makes no odds. We ain't gonna stop. Two laps left. We got just over three laps in both cars. Nearly four laps in both cars. Two laps remaining. Let's just go for it. Let's see if we can get maybe 15th for 14th. Excuse me while I take a drink, guys. Not used to doing all this talking as much, but for this one, we have to talk lots. We absolutely have been awful, but, you know, it is only a second race, and I forgot to do the all-out attack at the beginning of the race, and, oh, just so you learn from your mistakes, don't you? And I'm just learning as we go along. That's why this, uh, this series is quite more interesting and a bit more funnier. Especially whenever I mess up at the start of this race. Like, we had a fantastic first race, but this race with rain, dry, rain, dry. We absolutely destroyed it. But Callum gets another personal best. Yeah, no, just continue driving. Your engine blows, it blows. I don't care. We're on the last lap. Come on, just bang it out, kid. Just put it through. If it blows up, it blows up. How bad is it? Oh, sorry, your suspension will go before your uh, engine goes. Don't worry about that. And he's, he's lost his brakes. Well, well. You don't need brakes. Just take your fifth accelerator and accelerate again. It's not a problem. Last lap. Yeah, tires overheated. That's fine. Just keep on going, kid. Just keep on going. You're up at 16th. Come on. I want to see 15th at least out of you. Those two cars are just in front. And one's smoking. Come on. You're bound to be able to do it. He's smoking. Yeah, they'll carry your tires overheated as well. Keep going. Keep going. As Callum, there's a car in front. 15th is smoking everywhere. Who is 15th? Ericsson. Ericsson. Oh. He's on low fuel now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put it back on the low. Let's put it down to neutral. He's up to 15th. I want the 14th, but he's not going to get it, is he? Oh, you've only got half a lap. Stuff it. Just go, kid. Just go. See if you can get up the... If you can pass Eric's, and that would be awesome if he could. He's not going to get 14th. As the last bend, the two cars in front, 13, Beckerman and Calderon, are just coming down the start finish. But Callum Elliott has managed to get 15th. It's okay. Not a bad finish for him. Hughes. Did he get past Ericsson? Oh, Ericsson bit him to the line. Oh, Ericsson bit him to the line. And yes, Hughes had a disaster after the amazing start in the wet. Hughes had an absolute disaster. But that was kind of my fault because, well, you all seen what I did. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, uh, whatever it was, gearbox, engine. So I put him on the wrong set of tires first. Then I had to go and fix his gearbox or engine. Can't remember which it was. And that absolutely destroyed him. But as you can see, guys, that's the end of this episode. Welcome to Motorsport Manager. A game that we are all learning together, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I am going to try to improve how we do things. But obviously, it's going to take a while for me to learn this game. I ain't playing the game while I'm not recording, unlike what I do with Football Manager. So it kind of makes it a little bit more harder because I'm taking like a week between playing it, where Football Manager I'm playing every day, Motorsport Manager I'm playing once a week, and I'm enjoying it a lot playing it once a week. I could probably play it every day, but I'm enjoying this one, well, twice a week, let's be honest, twice a week, because I got the high-tech racing and I got... Create a, create a team, which obviously both videos go up in the same day. So I do two full records in one day for this, and then that's how we do it. But let's have a quick look to see where we are in the constructors and that. Scrutineering. Oh, we should be alright. We haven't fitted any of our new parts yet. So we should pass this with ease, unless they say, oh, your engine was crap and all the rest of it. Yeah, I don't think we break any rules. 
so we got a whopping six points there with a penalty. What do you get a penalty for? The driver has been demoted two places after a part of being found to broke the gym. Oh, oh well, that's good. So Carrie's fucking was breaking the rules, and one drive free penalty. So we got a whopping eight points to add on to our total. I don't really care about the driver championship. We're never going to win. Get up there. Where are we in the driver championship? Probably near the bottom, to be fair. Yeah, nineteenth and twentieth. What's new there? It's the constructors. Oh, we're back to being bottom now. So we're going to have to improve. We were, what, sixth, I think, after the first race? So after two rounds, we're back to being bottom. We need to finish higher than 10th. Well, we did say we'd finish 10th. So that's the end of Munich. We'll be, got, we'll be back, guys, for the next race, whenever that is or wherever it is. I don't know because, as I say, I haven't played this game yet. So... Guys, if you've enjoyed me playing, uh, been absolutely awful on our second race compared to our first race, hit a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our content on this channel. And there's loads more ch content going to be coming out over the next few months. And obviously the graphics etc is going to get better because I'm going to fix my desktop. But again guys, thank you very much. Have a good one. All the best.